Okay, 60 volts by 38 amps. This is the inside of my case again, in the sunshine. This is all the way against this wall, which probably isn't good. I should probably put something in there. But anyway, the wall is eight inches, eight and five eighths inches. So eight inches, five eighths. That's the complete width of inside the wall. Battery itself looks like it's going to be about seven and five eighths inches. Okay. <clears throat> Front to back of the entire battery case is going to be uh, looks like eighteen and three quarters of an inch. 18 and three quarters of an inch. Right there. 18, one eighth, one quarter, three eighths, half, or one half, five eighths, three quarter. Okay, now the battery length of the 38 amp hour is, looks like 13, point, 13 and one eighth inch. 13 and 1 8 inch. All right, the depth. The depth of this. See, I got the wiring here. It's in the way. Uh, let's see here. Let me go ahead and take the battery out. I'll take the battery out and uh, get some measurements underneath and measurements of the thickness of the battery. Okay, the full box depth is three and a half inches. The box depth is three and one half inch. That deep. Three and a half inches. Okay, the battery depth of a 38 amp hour exactly three inches three inches three inches okay now I need to figure out the cables and the connections so I can show you what I need to do okay here are the cables again XT60 it's XT60 one cable goes to this controller. Here's the other cable, goes to the other controller. These are what I need, these two, first of all. And then, these two. So it's a total of four wires that, need to, that I need. A jumper wire, probably about this long. I can wrap it up if it's a shorter distance, okay? But what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to stick these out the back. Bear with me here. Stick these the back okay cover it you see what I'm gonna do okay from the battery it's these ends so what I'm gonna do is take all one two three four See the hole? This goes to these controllers. The battery cables look like this. Square, round. What I need is a jumper cable so that I can unhook these, plug in the spare battery, second battery, we'll plug into here, 
and here and here and here. That way this will be disconnected and the battery that you sent me, the spare battery, the replacement extra battery, can hook up to these and the scooter keeps going. I don't know how good your English is. So I'm sorry if I sound stupid. <laughs> but again, I might need to get get two jumpers. One jumper to extend them a little bit further so they can stick out better. And I'm probably going to put some type of box on the outside to protect them from the weather. <sighs> and then when I need to, I can open the box, use the second jumper cable to hook up to them and set the battery back here, put it in a, a, a cargo area, and then just continue to drive on until that battery is exhausted. Then at night or during the day, whenever I get a chance to stop, both batteries will get charged just by clicking together and then plugging in the power right here in these two areas. That's it's simply what I'm trying to do. Now, later on, maybe I'll get it better when I can just pop this open and take this battery out and put the other one in. But right now, I want to be able to mount it outside, so I'm going to need uh, some type of cable to make these a little bit longer to come out. And then another jumper cable uh, this long with all the same connections on them. So, if you can get me that. This ends, these ends obviously hook to the battery that you're going to build me. And then just have it, uh, have these the exact same way as the one you're going to build me. That way when I unplug these, I can just hook in and go. I hope you understand. Let me know.